Hello artists and welcome back to Art at Home with Mrs. Kellogg. Well, for this week's video, I was inspired by nature. Last weekend, I did a lot of hiking and you know what I saw on the hiking trails? Lots of bunnies and rabbits. So I thought it would be fun to create some rabbit art this week. And there's one more thing I want to tell you before we head over to my workspace. And that is, I have included in this video how to create other animals. So the shapes that you use to create your rabbit today, you can also use to create other animals. And I'm going to show you that in a part of this video. Now, meet me over at my workspace because I want to tell you more about the art lesson and the art supplies you will need for today's lesson. Here's an example of the rabbit art that we are going to create for our art lesson today. Now let me tell you the art supplies you will need for today's project. You're going to need paper and the size is up to you. I recommend using a long rectangular paper so you can fit those rabbit ears in there. You're going to need a pencil with an eraser and for this project you have a choice. You can use markers or colored pencils. Now, if you are using markers, I recommend using a fine tip marker for this project. And don't forget to put down your art mat or newspaper before you start. Those are the materials you will need for today's art project. Now would be a great time to pause your video, gather your art supplies, and set up your workspace, and meet me back here, and we'll start creating some fun rabbit art. Did you get your art supplies and your workspace set up? Great. Then let's get started. So as I said before, we are going to create some rabbit art. But keep in mind, if you would prefer to draw another animal using the same shapes, feel free to do that. And I'll show you in the video how you can also do that. Now, since I'm going to show you how to create a rabbit right now, one really important thing to remember is rabbits have long ears, so I want to make sure I have enough space for the rabbit's ears. So I'm going to start approximately here on my paper, and that's going to be the top of the head. So I'm going to start with a curved line, or think of it also as a rainbow line. And the rabbit's cheeks curve out like so. So I'm going to curve this, make a slight S curve right here. And then what I'm gonna do down here is I'm actually going to make a circle or an oval. If you want a longer face, make it more like a long oval going longer. Just depends what you like. And I might even sketch an oval in the top going this way. So what this is gonna do is build some structure for me in the shape of the rabbit's head, um, since we are doing a rabbit portrait. Okay, so portraits show the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Okay, then I'm gonna get rid of the lines that I'm not going to use. Okay, and I may wanna curve out a little bit more, so see how I can just keep shaping up my drawing till I get what I like. Okay, so once I get the shape of the head, so another way to think about this is that I have a horizontal oval and then a longer oval down here. So it's almost like I'm making the number eight, if you can see that. Now my next step is I want to place where the nose and the mouth will go. So it's going to go slightly below this line and I'm just going to make a circle and I'm going to sketch. So it's almost, if I were drawing a dog, this would kind of be the snout area. Okay, now I have my main shapes and it's time to clean up my drawing. I get rid of the lines I'm not going to use. My next step is to put the nose and the mouth in. So start here, making kind of a curved pointy part of the triangle then a line underneath the nose, and then the smile. So I can leave it like that, or I can put a curved line up on the top of it. It's totally up to you. Okay, now my next step 
is I'm actually going to use this to guide me for where I'm going to put the eyes. And I'm going to curve this in here and curve this in here. Now, I really want this to look more like a rabbit, so this is the part I'm going to erase. Now I've got my main shapes in, so it's time to add the ears. So I'm going to think of long triangles for this. And this is going to be the inside of the ear. Now for this ear, what I'm going to do is have it flop over. So I'll show you how to do that. So start with a wide triangle and then curve over. It's a curved triangle, or I always think of this as a chocolate Hershey's kiss. That's closest to me, so I draw that first, and then I'm gonna curve down here, and curve down like so. Okay, this is gonna be the inside of the ear, and I'm just gonna shade that in. Now my next step is I wanna put the body in. Okay, to so do that, I'm just going to make an air triangle. See, a negative space triangle, negative space triangle. I think of it an air triangle, and then a line going down for the body. Now my next step is I wanna draw the eyes. So the eyes are almost like a teardrop shape, so kind of a rounded triangle at the top going into an oval. And if I want the eyes even, I can always air draw over to here, put a line, air draw to the bottom of that shape, put a line, and that'll help. Then once I have that done, my next step is I want to put highlights in the corner of the eyes, and I would shade those in. So I'll show you what that looks like. So you can put it on this side or this side. So you have a lot of choices for this part. You could leave the rabbit as it is and add your color the way you'd like, or you could add design work and line work to your rabbit. I'm gonna show you how to draw contour lines to create a little bit more dimension by using those curved contour lines. And you could add arms or whatever you'd like to your rabbit. Now, once I'm finished drawing my rabbit and my contour lines, I can continue with pencil adding some line work or design work into my rabbit, or I can stop and use an ultra fine Sharpie or a black colored pencil to trace all my line work and then decide. Now would be a great time for you to pause the video, draw your rabbit, add those contour lines, and then trace your rabbit, or you could add design work to your rabbit and then trace everything. Then meet me back here and we'll start adding color pencil or marker to our rabbits. This part of the video is to show you how to create different animal characters using the same shapes you use to create the rabbit. So if you're a person who doesn't want to create the rabbit, but would like to make a different animal character, then watch this part of the video. Or you could watch this part of the video and create more animals after you've created your rabbit. So I want to show you three portraits here. So here I'm using the same shapes. What I'm going to do is change the shape of the nose and the shape of the ears. So as you can see, you can make a lot of different unique animal characters just by changing the shape of the ears 
and the shape of the nose. And remember, once you're finished drawing and tracing your animals or your rabbit, you can meet me back here because in the next part, I'm gonna add some color to my rabbit. Did you finish drawing and tracing your rabbit or animal? Great, then let's add some color. So there's two really important things I want you to keep in mind. One is the element of art value. So when you choose your colors, it's a good idea to make sure you have a light color, a medium color, and a dark color. And you can use other colors if you like, or maybe you just wanna use a light and a dark color. The choice is up to you. But remember, if you put a dark color next to a dark color, your shapes won't stand out. The other things we wanna think about are our principles of design, repetition and contrast. So remember, repetition is when we repeat our colors and we repeat our lines and shapes. And contrast is when we use really big shapes next to really small shapes, or thinking about value, a lighter color next to a darker color. That's always gonna get our shapes to stand out. So for this rabbit, I added design work, but for this rabbit, I think I'm just gonna have fun and just add color. So remember, you have a choice. You can add design or color, whatever you would like to do. Okay, let's get started. You probably noticed I started adding color to my rabbit. So I thought I'd have fun and create a striped rabbit. And I'm still keeping in mind that I wanna put a light color next to a medium color or a light color next to a dark color or a dark color next to a medium color. So my stripes really stand out. I finished adding color to my rabbit. Now it's your turn. Well, that ends our rabbit inspired art lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want you to always remember when you are creating art to relax, have lots of fun and keep creating.